Mediocre Gamer here to rip another shitty game, another new asshole. Now, this time, I'm going back to one of my favorite video games, Castlevania II, Simon's Quest. I keep finding this game creep into my subconscious. It's like in Simon's Quest. It's just like in Simon's Quest. Simon's Quest. This game is just like Simon's Quest. This is like in Simon's Quest. I talk about it all the fucking time. So, what the hell, let me just get it all out. This is going to be a Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest Marathon. Simon's Quest is a humble game. It's not Mario, or Mega Man, or Bob Euchre. It's just Simon. Or Simon, or Simon, whatever, who cares. Let's just start the game. Now, the controls in this game are horrible. You press B to swing your whip at Dracula. You press B to throw your holy water at Dracula. And you press B to throw your dagger at Dracula. You'd think you're playing Castlevania Zero, Dracula vs. the Bees. Not only do you have to kill Dracula, but you have to kill other enemies as well. Including... Little Miss Muffets, Swamp Things, Cobra Commander, and Emperor Palpatine. There are also many items to collect too, such as Laurels, Hardies, and Blue Balls. So guys, you may want to stay away from those ones. Now, believe it or not, but there were actually four different versions of the crystal that you have to collect. And they were the White Crystal, the Red Crystal, and the Billy Crystal. And also Bob Euchre. You can also get this regular dagger, and this silver dagger. Now, I'm not saying this is a gold dagger, but I ain't messing with no broke naggers. When I'm moving to the next screen, I don't want to stop and look at what's ahead of me. I just want to keep walking straight to the right. But oops, I can't do that. There might be water there. It's at this point that I need secrets. Nintendo Game Secrets. This book is usually all about secret tips. Super C, how to get 10 extra lives. Mario 3, getting the warp whistle. TMNT, how to beat Shredder. And finally, Castlevania 2, getting started. That's not a secret tip. That's how to play the fucking game. The first dungeon is called Masturbation Hand Mansion, and you can immediately see why. The mansion is full of hanging skeletons of monsters that killed themselves from autoerotic asphyxiation. And I think I see Ronnie in there. Oh god, come on, all I want to do is hit this guy. Ugh! Oh, god! Ugh! Oh, ugh! Oh, god! Ugh! Oh, ugh! Oh, come on! Ugh! Oh. So, to beat a dungeon, you have to shoot an orb with this oak stake. But sometimes, they put the orbs just out of your reach. Oh, come on! Now I have to waste my time climbing back up the platforms, avoid getting hit by enemies, and buy another oak stake. Alright, let's try this again. Well, no wonder I missed it. I was too low down. But maybe if I try from a higher platform... You son of a bitch! I don't believe this! Look how close I was! Another thing that sucks about this game is that you have to throw holy water all over because you never know where a hidden floor could be. If you break it down to every space that could possibly contain a fake floor, that's about 240 spaces per screen, and it's roughly 500 screens per dungeon. That's a total of 22 million bajillion holy waters you gotta throw just to get through the first level of the castle. Holy water my ass. It should have been called slowly water, because it's so slow to throw it all over the place. Forget it, Castlevania's ruined. <laughs>